Hey guys, Mike here. So today's cult classic review is 1987's The Last Boys, starring Jason Patrick as Michael in The Last Boys. After moving to a new town, two brothers discover that their new home is a haven for vampires. And so we have the Lost Boys. So guys, this is the movie in this series before watching and reviewing it today. I had not seen it before, and I didn't really know all that much about it either. All I knew is that I had Kiefer Sutherland in it, and it had vampires in it. That's really it. So, what do I think of The Lost Boys? Honestly, I kind of have mixed views on The Lost Boys. Because while the story is not exactly original, it's not exactly terrible either. The performances are decent, and the saying, you know, while they're not, again, original, you know, it is decent enough for this story. The Lost Boys really takes a long time to get going, and honestly, it takes the character a really long time to get that he's a vampire, and even longer to really do anything about it. I mean, realistically, when you wake up with a bit of a headache and you can't really stand the sunlight and you only really want to go out at night, your first thought isn't, hmm, I might be a vampire. So it's understandable for him to take a little while to figure out he's a vampire. But even when he does actually fully discover he's a vampire, he doesn't really do anything with it. I mean, I'm not saying that he should go out drinking people's blood, but he doesn't doesn't really take any advantage of the flying perks or the stick in the ceilings, anything really. And for a movie that calls itself a horror comedy, for the longest time there isn't all that much horror and it's not really that funny either. It's only really as it starts to go into the third act does it become more gruesome, more gory and generally a lot more funny as well. But honestly as well, these are going to be some of the worst vampires I've ever seen in a movie. Well, you know, maybe not as bad as them. Not because of any lack of good acting or interest in mythology, but for the fact of that they're taken out so easily. They get taken out by kids, dogs, stereos, you name it. Just these guys are bad at staying alive or undead or what, however you call them. Honestly, I'm kind of struggling to say really anything nice about The Last Boys. Don't get me wrong, this isn't a terrible movie. But it's not exactly one that really kept me thoroughly entertained and wanting to see more. Though, like I said, it did get better in the third act. It really wasn't worth sticking around for the rest of the movie just to get to that. So guys, would I consider The Last Boys a personal cult classic? And would I recommend that you guys should see it? I can see how this movie is a cult classic for a lot of people. Because even though I didn't really enjoy it all that much for the fact of it not really being all that funny or gory, I can see why a lot of people would think this movie is quite funny or decently gory enough. But as it stands for me, I would not consider this movie a personal cult classic. Though I fully understand why loads of people do consider this one a cult classic. But as for whether or not you guys should see it, honestly, I personally wouldn't recommend this one. To be honest, there are much better vampire movies out there than this one that you should really check out before watching The Last Boys. Again, this movie isn't terrible. It's just not really all that interesting either. Okay guys, that's my cult classic review of The Last Boys. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Whatever you think, drop it in the comments below. Until next time, I'll be Michael. See ya!